Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I made one notable change over to my deck. Wolf Axe Wielder got taken out for Neo the Magic Swordsman. And that's just an extra 50 attack points, so to speak. So that's gonna make a little bit of a difference. Right now, that's how my deck looks. Pretty neat, huh? It should come in handy, given that the Tier 3 opponents are quite strong. In fact, after having some duels off-camera, I managed to unlock every one of them. Remember, my Valentine, you have to have Harpy's Feather Duster in your trunk. For Bandit Keith, it's Barrel Dragon in your trunk. For Joey Wheeler, it's Jinzo in your trunk. And for Pegasus, it's Toon World, Toon Eyes, uh, Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon, and Toon Summon Skull in your trunk. And to unlock the ghouls, which are the next tier of opponents, you have to beat each of them seven times each. Why don't we go with Bandit Keith first, and he's got attack of five, defense of four, strategy of three, intellect of three, and luck of five. A very well-rounded opponent. I think we got a very decent chance. As long as I don't let him get too comfortable, he's gonna be tough. Okay, why don't we start things off with a delinquent duo to try to take out two threats he has in his hand. Okay, so they were both monsters. Uh, Pendulum Machine and Mechanical Chaser. Getting rid of one Mechanical Chaser is good. I believe he has more, though. Let's hope not. I think we'll go with Mystical Elf face down and end my turn. Ooh, two face down cards. I don't know what he's gonna do with them. But I have an idea. Hmm. I think I should just summon Guardian of the Throne Room in attack mode. Trap hole, okay. Uh, ah, what the hell, let's just go for the attack. If I'm gonna take damage, I might as well just take it. Who knows, I might damage him. He didn't bring in a monster, but he might draw one next turn. So it's kind of close, so to speak. I still have my man-eater bug on the ready. Huh, nothing. Maybe they were both trap holes. That's the reason he never activated before, because Gemini Elf is well be below the 1,000 points. Yep, they were both trap holes. So, we got them out of the way right now, and I still got to keep my good monsters. Man, if he never summons any monsters, I can probably win with Gem with Mystical Elf. It'll take, like, eight turns, though! Okay, never mind. Blocker! Better to have that in attack mode than defense mode. Because its attack is so low. In fact, that attack is so low, it might as well be named Han. Anyways, let's move on here. Gemini Elf, it's all on you. Doesn't look like Bandit Keith got a good draw. That would explain why I'm doing so well. Now let's just hope that momentum stays the same. Because I'd hate to lose it right away. Okay, that's all. Alright. Widespread Ruin. Very good card. That feast down right away. And now for Mechanical Chaser. So let's take out that monster. I'd say we got a very decent chance at this point. Overdrive! I do remember when I was a teen I would have Overdrive in my deck. It had very decent stats, like 1600 attack, 1500 defense. Like, it wasn't very lacking in any stat. For a four-star monster... Huh, <laughs> he has nothing! So, I got it won this turn. I don't need to draw anything else. Or play anything else, I'll just go for the kill right now. Alright, that was actually much easier than I thought! Those stats that he had worried me, 
But it turns out, if he just can't get what he wants, he's done. Uh, let's go with a Masked Beast. Ooh, I like Mage Power. What's Hysteric Fairy? Uh, for two monsters on your starting field, a tribute to increase your life points by 1,000. Okay. Well, it's good for 1,800 attack points. I probably wouldn't use that effect, though. Amphibian Beast I don't really need because I have Summon Skull and Cyber Tech Alligator. Mage Power, on the other hand. For every spell and trap card on your side of the field, increase the attack and defense of the Equip Monster by 500 points. That's pretty epic. Along with United We Stand, you're going to have a powerhouse. I don't know if I would put Mage Power in my deck, though. We'll see. But for now, let's go with Joey Wheeler. Attack of 5, Defense of 1, Strategy 4, Intellect 2, and Luck of 5. Well, explain the luck. He's Yugi's best friend. Yugi might as well just be the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. With all that luck. Let's put this face down to start things off. And then I'll summon you in attack mode. That's all for now. Ah, Spear Dragon. Well, it can actually penetrate your life points even with your monsters in defense mode, but it has to go into defense mode after attacking. But all by itself, that's a good monster, 1900 attack points. Don't underestimate it. Alright, now I'm going to summon Gemini Elf to the field in attack mode. So I should do a combined 3600 points of da da uh. 3,600 points of damage on this turn. Enunciation, Bonga. Learned it. Please. Alright, I'll end my turn now. Ah, another Spear Dragon. Well, I do have Change of Heart. It's not like I need to attack with Spear Dragon, I can just sacrifice it. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do that right now! Well, I'm gonna play Change of Heart, I don't know if I'm gonna sacrifice it. Can I change its position? Yes, I can. Okay, I think I'm just better off summoning another monster. Put this in attack mode, and then summon Girochin Kuwagata, and then I should be able to win! That was a very fast duel! Like, not even eight minutes in, I already got two victories. Well, the victory may not be official until we get to, like, the eight-minute mark. Who knows? Yeah, we'll be beyond eight minutes. Eh, that's okay. It's not really time attack. It's just Joey attack, if you know what I mean. Alright, let's go with... Relinquished. Okay, Confiscation. Pay 1,000 life points to look at your opponent's hand, select one card, and discard it to the graveyard. Ooh. It's kind of like Delinquent Duo, only I get a choice. So even though it's going to cost me some life points, I'm putting that in. Question is, what do I take out? Let's take a look at the spells I already have. So I don't want too many of the same type. Problem is, all the ones I do have are very good. I think rather than Forceful Sentry, I'm gonna go with Confiscation. That'll probably be the better decision here. I have to look for Confiscation. Oh, up there it is. Of course, it's right next to Delinquent Duel in card number. Okay, now for Maximilian Pegasus. He's got attack of 4, defense of 2, strategy of 5, intellect of 4, and luck of 1. Okay, so I see him as a very tough strategist. Not to mention he has Toon World. Ooh, and Vorth Raider. Crap. I gotta hit this guy hard. Which I can do with Fisher. I could probably use Monster Reborn to bring it back with Mirror Wall. 
Decrease the attack of all of your opponent's attacking monsters by half. You must pay 2,000 life points during each of your standby phases. If you cannot, this card is destroyed. Interesting. Okay, let's see. I don't want to bring in Summon Skull right away. I do, however, want to use Monster Reborn to bring back that Vorse Raider. I don't know if it at Mirror Wall decreases the attack points permanently. But at least I can actually have him do damage to himself in terms of life points. And I'll still have my Magician of Faith as well if I want to bring back a Monster Reborn. Or my Fisher. Okay, so it does decrease the attack. I'm not surprised about that. Alright, let me put my Imperial Order face down. And end my turn. Are you willing to pay the 2,000 life points, Pegasus? He's not. Okay, so he still managed to weaken my monsters. Ugh, Toon World. Oh no, I'm not letting you have a chance with that. Because those Toon Monsters can be lethal. Question is, do I want to play it right away? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, th I think I should. That should keep him from bringing in Toon Monsters. Okay, now would be a good time to bring in Summon Skull. Um, uh, yep, I'll pay it. Okay, the attack points are back to normal. Well, that's good. I thought it'd be permanent. Thank God it isn't. So maybe I don't need Summon Skull after all. It is very awkward to have your life points ending in 5. Nimble Momonga. Oh, this is just going to take a while. He wasn't able to bring another one in. I guess the remaining two are in his hand. If he has two. That means he's just going to put him face down. That's fine by me. As long as I'm able to maintain this type of momentum. Toon Mermaid. Okay, so he can still special summon them. Huh. Let's see. Let me take a look at that, shall we? This card cannot be summoned unless Toon World is on the field. Well, it's negated, but it's still on the field. Okay, pay 500 life points each time this monster is destroyed. When Toon World is destroyed, this card is also destroyed. Ooh. Well, I guess I will have to attack the Toon Mermaid, but that's okay. It's still a weak monster. So I'm guessing, like, my Imperial Order does not negate special summons of Toon Monsters. Fair enough. At least it's a weak monster. So maybe the Imperial Order is a bit of a waste. But it is keeping him from playing very good spell cards. And that's fine by me. Alright, I'll end my turn. Okay then. Let's see, Cybertech Alligator. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay. And I'll use Man Eater Bug to destroy that monster directly. There. Now I'll just take him out. Just like that. It's over. Oh man, I'm I'm maintaining a very good streak. I'm proud of that. Too bad I can't keep the Vorse Raider. That was an eyes restrict it is. Um, none of these are very special. Okay. I think I'll have one more duel here. And I'll have it at random? Oh, it's my. Alright. I have to defeat each opponent seven times to get the ghouls, like I said before. 
but I had to defeat each opponent like 10 times each to get another booster pack. I forget what it is for uh, my though. I have no idea what it is. I should know, because I've heard of it. I know for Bandit Keith it's Dark Ruler Hades. For Joey, it's Yamada Dragon. And for uh, Pegasus, I believe it's Guardian Sphinx. For my, I kind of forget. But I'm pretty sure it'll come to me in due time. So I'll just end my turn right here. No, I know what my is now. Zombira the Dark. That's what it is. Ooh, Geki. Harpy's brother. Yep, yeah, I'll play Trap Hole. And you're gonna end your turn, alright. Okay, I'm gonna play this face down. And then I'm gonna summon White Magical Hat in attack mode. May not be the best decision, but hey. At least I'll be able to take care of one of her cards in her hand. And it could be a very good one. What was it? Harpy Lady, alright. So it wasn't a very serious threat. But it could save me from a Harpy Lady Sisters. If she's got Elegant Egotist as well. Skull Red Bird. Well, there goes my White Magical Hat. It had a good run of like one turn, but... It was one turn that destroyed a Harpy Lady. And that's good enough for me. Okay, destroy one face down spell or trap or remove it from play. Okay, I don't want to do that because that would take care of my trap hole and hers. And all of mine. Maybe a Nobleman of Cross that would be a bit better than Nobleman of Extermination. I think that's what I should just swap out for. Because Nobleman of Cross that will take care of a monster and remove it from play. Of course, it also destroys the same ones in my deck. But that's okay. Rising air current, okay. No monsters? And I'm not worried about that trap either. I can negate it. Let me bring in Girochin Kuagata because it does get a power boost. And that'll do some damage. Mirror Force? Nope! That's saying of the thunder. That's a monster, you idiot. And for a brief moment, we're tied. Not anymore. There we go. And I say it should be done on the next turn. Barring whatever she does next. Premature burial, Harpy's brother. Nope, blue wing crown. I thought you were going to go with Harpy's Brother, because that has more attack power. Or maybe that's not even a wind monster. Let me take a look in the graveyard. Alright, let's just inquire about this here. Harpy's Brother is wind! Just brought that from the graveyard, not Blue Wing Crown. That was a bit of a bad move on my part. Not impressed at all. And for that, she's gonna pay. I don't understand why Mai did that. If he brought in, like, Harpy's brother, I would have had to bring in Summon Skull to destroy it. Instead, I'm able to win the duel this way. Oy, maybe I could have used no of extermination on that mirror force. I kind of forgot to do that, but that's all right. Okay, we got Cure Mermaid, United We Stand. That's cool. Lightning Blade. Okay, cool. And Sengenjin. Oh yeah, well, I don't really need to worry about that because I got Blue Eyes and Barrel Dragon. Well, I had Barrel Dragon. Um, what is my other, like, level 7 up monster? I got blue eyes, yeah, and Sang of the Thunder. 
I think I might want to swap him out for uh, either, not Sengenjin, but Buster Blader, because I picked that up earlier. Better yet, Cosmo Queen. Alright, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, I'm going to have some more duels, and hopefully get the ghouls unlocked sooner. See ya, everybody.